Although my first time with Apple's MacBook Pro M1 was frustrating due to several minor compatibility issues, the last few months have brought several improvements. However, early on, one of the first things I noticed about the MacBook Pro M1 that Apple sent me to review is that it features the best battery life I've found in years in a laptop. It's lasted for more than a full workday and still managed to give you quite a bit of battery life. According to a recent interview with Tom's Guide at least some folks at Apple were also surprised by the M1's excellent battery life. When we looked at the first system and then you sat there and played with it for a few hours and the battery wouldn't move, we thought, oh that's a mistake, the battery indicator is broken, said Bob Borkers of Apple, vice president of worldwide product marketing in an interview with the publication. And then Tim, Malay, he laughs in the background, no, that's how it's supposed to be, he said, and it was pretty phenomenal. Tim Malay is Apple's vice president of platform architecture. During that same interview, Malay goes on to explain why a huge improvement in battery life was a goal for the M1 chip. If someone else could build a chip that really gave better performance inside that cabinet, what's the point? Why would we change? So for my chip architects, that was the goal, Malay said. During the interview, Malay also details how important Rosetta 2 emulation is to the transition from Intel chips. Finally, Malay also hints that Apple has a discrete GPU in the works. Hey, wouldn't it be great if it reached out to a broader set of those really intense players? It's a natural place for us to search, work closely with our metal team and our team of developers. We love the challenge, said Malay. While there is obvious truth to this statement, Apple's Mac ecosystem isn't exactly known for its gaming prowess.